so this is the new interface for Watson Analytics so now you see there are three tabs one for data other one for discover and the third one is for display so if you want to add data you start with data here and uh, if you have not added any data in past this area is going to be blank so let's add new data so there are so many options uh, that you get and depending on where your data is it allows you to get data from box or Dropbox or Twitter and so on so right now I'm going to read a file from my computer so I will click on local file and browse so the file that I have is on my desktop it's called vehicle failure data dot CSV so I click on import and then this data gets uploaded to Watson Analytics it may take few seconds uh, depending on size of your file so this data is now uploaded uh, now let's uh, create a dashboard so for that I'm going to go to display and then create a new display we can name this display as we like I'm going to call this vehicle and we have the choice of using a dashboard or infographic or expert storybook so in this uh, video I'm going to use dashboard and out of various uh, layouts that are available you can choose any one that fits your need I'm going to go for this one which can display up to four graphs or charts so once uh, we select that we can add new discoveries by clicking here so we can choose our data I'm going to use vehicle failure data so one good thing about Watson Analytics is even before you decide or think about what kind of analysis you want to do with the variables it gives you some starting points so you can choose from this or if you have something specific in mind you can jump to any specific visualization that you want to do let me start with the first one so this one gives uh, LH which in this data set is labor hours how much time a technician takes to repair a vehicle so that is LH and this is by state if you need to make any modification you can click here and instead of labor hours if you want labor cost you can easily do that so when you choose a labor cost what it does is it calculates the total labor cost in that particular state for example in Texas you see the total labor cost is seventy nine thousand one hundred and forty dollars and eighty seven cents but having the total is not really going to give a good insight because Texas is a big state and since some more cars may have been sold in Texas this number is likely to be bigger all the time same thing with California or Florida so just because more cars were sold in those states the total will always be bigger if you have to make a appropriate uh, geographic plot we should use average and not total in this specific example if you want to change that you can right click and when you go to summary the default here is sum but you have other options like average minimum maximum or count so I'm going to choose average and then see if there is any specific pattern so now we find that the average labor cost for these kind of repairs is uh, evenly distributed across different states we don't see any specific uh, state which uh, stands out uh, in terms of very high or very low labor cost being used so this is also a useful insight 
So once the chart looks okay, we can click here. And this becomes uh, our first uh, visualization for the dashboard. To add the next one, we again click on new discovery. And we can choose the file that will be used. Watson Analytics also provides an option to use any other file with any other variables that are relevant to the analysis. So for the time being, we stick with this one. And let's say I want to look at uh, this visualization which says what drives LH, which is labor hours. So this analysis basically identifies other variables uh, that have impact on LH or labor hours. So for example, in this case, it says labor cost and machine cost and a combination of machine cost and labor cost have impact on labor hours. And the strength uh, of the impact is also indicated here. So for example, this one is uh, closer to the center because it has maximum impact and this variable is further away from the center because this has least impact and all these are quantitative variables but if we want to change this uh, target variable from LH to anything else we can easily do that so let's say we want to see what variables have impact on labor cost So labor cost is impacted by two key variables. One is LH, labor hours. And that makes sense because labor hour means uh, more time that goes into the repair that will obviously increase labor cost also. And MC, which is material cost, has about 14% strength. So it is further away. So suppose we finalize this, we click here. And we get our second visualization. And to add a third one, we again click on discovery, again select this vehicle failure data. So let's try this one. How are the values of mileage and FM, which is failure month associated? So it gives us a scatter plot between the two variables. And as usual, we can always uh, change the variables that we are interested in. So instead of failure month, if we want to use labor hours, we can do that. So you can see the scatter plot changes. So once we finalize this again, we click here and then move to the next visualization. So let's do a visualization based on uh, tweets. So let's say I want to do what is the trend of number of tweets over day. So this is the line plot that I get. And if we are okay with this, we can finalize this by clicking here. And note that uh, these tweets uh, were basically pulled using keyword Toyota. So this is for one of the automotive companies. And once we are okay with this, we click here. So once uh, we have all the dashboard items ready, we can share it. So we have option for sending it as an email or we can download it or we can tweet. So let's uh, download this. So again, we have three formats. We can save this or download this as image, PDF or PowerPoint. So I'm going to select image. and then click on download. So once it is ready, we can say save. And then if you open this, you'll find the image file here. And this can be easily inserted into a PowerPoint uh, file. We can also download this directly as PowerPoint. We can say download.
we can open this file and see how it looks. So the first slide is just the title. We can always modify this. On the second slide, we have the dashboard. We can again uh, give a title and do other things. And uh, if we need more visualizations, we can add another slide and so on. So if you need to create individual chart, you can go back to the original screen and make use of discover tab. You can choose the data file that you are interested in. And you have a similar format that we have seen earlier. Another thing that you can do with the Watson analytics, uh, for example, if you click on data, and suppose you want to add new data and let's say we want to pull some data from Twitter. So we can enter the keyword or hashtags. Let's say we want to do with hashtag Apple. We can specify the start and end date. So right now it's January 30th, 2017 up to February 6th, 2017. So if you click on import, Watson Analytics will pull tweets with hashtag Apple. So this could be very useful to understand what people are talking about regarding a company, what kind of sentiment those uh, tweets reflect. So for example, now I have this uh, data and if I go to discover, new discovery set, and then select the data that we just pulled from Twitter using hashtag Apple. So as we have seen earlier, it will give us uh, some starting points. Let's say we want to do sentiment analysis. So it shows uh, various drivers for sentiment and they are listed in a descending order of what strength uh, they have. Suppose you want to look at one of them. Let's say I click on the first one. Yellow is neutral and this is uh, positive and light green color is negative. Whether it is English, German, French or Spanish, mostly these uh, tweets about Apple reflect uh, neutral sentiment and followed by positive sentiment. It also gives you some more uh, visual analysis that you may find uh, interesting. So this is how you can do some quick visualizations using Watson Analytics. <laughs>